Hello and welcome! I've been doing lots of videos on web scraping, and a comment on one of my last videos was how he noticed that I record my videos ahead of time, which I do, sometimes months ahead of time, and lots of times I'll have scripts go along with them on Pastebin. He's like, I could write a script that would check my my Pastebin so he can see these scripts before the videos come out, and you 100% can, and that's what we're going to work on today. But before we even start writing the script, if you go to filmsbychris.com, that's Chris with a K, link in the description, You'll see my page here. At the top, you'll see an option, or in the menu tabs, there's one called Software. When you click on that, it'll bring you down to the Software section. And in there, we have my GitLab page, uh, or search for my GitLab page, a little script I wrote, uh, my actual GitLab page, scripts, and then Notes. If you go to Notes and you type, start typing something like Linux, oh, you've got to spell it properly, or whatever words you want to search for, it will narrow down the list. And if you click on that, this is actually just my pacement stuff. I've been trying to move them over to my website, some of them have not moved over properly, uh, but you'll see at the bottom of any of them, if it's not displaying properly, click on that, and it'll bring you to the paste bin of that paste. That's great if paste bin ever pulls down one of my uh, pastes, which they have in the past for unknown reasons. But I've been doing this since the beginning, and I actually just have a bash script on my server that runs once a day and checks for new scripts and dumps them into a database. So I have backup copies of everything I post. But today, we're just going to look at a very simple way where you could pull from my pastebin. Now, now that we're at pastebin, if you click on my username here, MetalX1000, it'll bring you to my most recent pastes. And there, it, this is what we're going to look for. Now, you look at the, the URL, it's pastebin.com forward slash you for user forward slash in the username, which is MetalX1000. And it'll bring you up the first page. So if you just want my most recent pages, pay, uh, posts, that's all you need. But if you do forward slash and a number, it will bring you to the next page. So if you wanted to scrape all my posts, you could do that. Pastebin might block you after a bit if you're doing a lot of it and give you a little captcha. That's the whole point of captchas. But we're just going to grab this first paste, uh, page of paste, which is, well, I don't know, maybe 50 or so of them. So let's go ahead and just grab that URL. We'll copy it. We'll go into our shell here. I'm going to use wget, but you could use curl if you like curl. I'm going to say dash Q, capital O. So we're just going to be dumping the output to the screen, and we'll give it that URL. And it dumps this. Now, if we were to go in here, I already know what I'm looking for. Uh, but if we didn't, we can hit F12, and we'll open up the developer console, or we can right-click on one of these. This is actually another quick way to do it, and say inspect, and it'll bring you to that. Now, we need to look for something uh, unique about these posts, and what we're going to search for is public paste, is what we're going to be searching for here, with a capital P. Uh, so let's go ahead, and I am going to run that command again. I'm going to pipe it into grep, and I'm going to search for public paste paste. When I do that, I'll get all the lines that say public paste. Did I spell something wrong here? That should have returned something, unless in preparation for this, uh, is paste been now blocking me? Hmm. Oh, public. I spelled public wrong. You got to spell things properly for things to work properly. There we go. Now, this does not give us the URL or actually the ID of the paste that we want. Because if we go back to the web browser here and I click on one of these, you'll see to go to it, it's just pastebin.com forward slash and a unique uh, identifier. So let's go back to the main page here. Again, I will right click and say inspect element. Open up on my other screen here. But you'll notice that I said public paste here. And it's actually the next line that has the ID that we're looking for. So let's go back to our shell. We're going to run that same command. But we're going to add dash capital A1. That means search for lines that say public paste. But not only show us that line, but the next line as well. And when we do that, you can see now that we are getting the title of the post and also that unique identifier. So now all we have to do is clean this up a little bit. Uh, so let's go ahead. And at this point, we know we want the ones that have the link. So we'll just now grep for href. Let's go ahead and shrink this down a little bit. There we go. And now we just have the lines that have the identifier and the title. So now we can clean this up a little bit. There's different ways we can use it. We could do the cut command. I'm just going to run a one said command that actually has three commands in it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to now say said. And now we're going to replace something. We're going to say s forward slash forward slash forward slash, although you can use pretty much any character you want as those dividers, and we'll use something different in a moment. But we'll, 
by default, most people use the forward slashes. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, let's take that, the href tag, including the, question, uh, the quotation mark, and just set it to nothing. When we do that, now we have the identifier. Uh, but actually, you notice that it has a forward slash in there. Now, we could say backslash forward slash. That will work, and it removes that forward slash. But it might be a little bit easier to read if instead of using forward slashes, we're going to say, I'll use a pipe symbol in this case. So I'm just using pipe symbols as the divider uh, instead of forward slashes, and it makes it a little bit easier. I don't have to backslash out any of those forward slashes. That should result in the same thing. So now we have the identifier. Then we have the quotation greater than symbol. We have the title here, and then we have some extra tags here. So let's go ahead and now, in the same said command, inside the single quotes, I'm going to say semicolon, meaning new substitution for said. Substitute, I'll say forward slash forward slash forward slash G. So we're substituting globally, meaning that, you know, just do it across the lines. It really doesn't matter for what we're doing now, but usually put that in there. And I'm doing forward slashes because that's the standard, uh, but, but uh, nobody's, uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, but there's no forward slash in this, but I'm not using the pipe symbol because what I actually want to do, if I run this, it's going to remove that. So now we have our identifier bunched right up against the title. Let's go ahead and run that again. But instead of putting nothing in place of that, I'm going to do a pipe symbol. And that will be my divider. I'm just going to, basically going to create a text file that has the identifiers and, and, the, um, and the title separated by a pipe symbol. As long as my titles don't have any pipe symbols in them, this should work fine. Great. Now we can just remove this here by adding another said command. So I'm going to say said, and I'm going to say, or sorry, S for substitute, pipe, 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 G for global. I'm going to put those characters in there, and I'm just, this is what we're replacing it with, nothing. So now that I do that, we have now identifiers and the titles. We're pretty much done, but if we wanted to, we could actually change this tag right here where it says href, the, the the tag there, we can actually add in here HTTPS forward slash forward slash paste bin dot com forward slash. Now, when I run that, if I typed everything properly, we actually have the full URL followed by the title. I can actually click on one of these and it should open it up. There we go. That's that post. Quick and simple. There'll be a link in the description to actually a little script that does basically the same thing that I wrote. I'll put this up on Pastebin and link to it in the description of the video, or you can search for it on my website. Uh, but I just I just put some things and variables here. The domain, which is actually the first part of the URL. The user, which is me, but you can substitute that with another user's name. And then we create a URL from that. We use the wget command. We're using the greps that we're using here. And then here we have our sed command. And uh, I use the domain variable there, just to kind of shorten things up a little bit. Uh, but it's the same command. So this will be in the description of the video. I hope that you found this useful. Thank you for watching. Visit filmsbychris.com and keep on checking out my stuff here on YouTube uh, and also on my Pastebin. Have a great day.